What's your name? Dean. I'm Shannon. Welcome to our channel. Checking out, man. Alright. So, we can get started here. So, what's the plan? I need my batteries to work. Right now, they're not. Okay, so we got a 12 volt drill here. Palmer DeWalt drill. I don't know if it's got the model number. It's a DC D710 3/8 10 mil cordless drill. All right, it's a 12 volt drill. We got a couple dead batteries. Got two actually. They're fully dead and they won't take a charge. They've uh, been what? Been around, not taking a charge for. This shows you the power. Button. So we slide them on here. No. And nothing. Nothing. And this is one that still works. Fully charged. Shows it's fully charged. Okay, so goal is take some lithium batteries, 18650s, and replace the ones that are inside. Where'd you get those batteries from? Well, these batteries came from laptops. These are recycled batteries. Uh, they've been put through a test bench that's uh, run cycles on them. It's done voltage tests and capacity tests. This one, for example, started at 2.6 volts. That's the starting voltage after it was ripped out of the pack. It was measured with a voltmeter at 2.6 volts. And then after running it for three cycles back to back, it, uh, it shows a capacity of 2,399 milliamps which is pretty good. This is a 2600 milliamp hour battery to begin with, so it's 201 milliamp hours less than what it's rated for new. So, not perfect, but uh, pretty good. So that's like 2.4 so amp they're hours. They're the same type of batteries that are in here? Yeah, inside here is three of these. Hmm. So, we're going to open it up and we'll get to that. Sure. Yeah, it looks looks like we have to investigate. There might be some uh, sonic welding holding down some plastic. You see, a little prying. Okay, so one thing to take note of. Let me zoom it back out. So, one thing to take note of. You don't want to short these two these two connectors out. These two connectors here. This is the positive. This is the negative. So it's important not to stick metal objects across these. Now that you have it exposed, you can bridge these contacts and, you know, if there was a lot of voltage in here, let's say once they're done being rebuilt, all these circuits in behind here, you could so short the them out. Uh, I'm not sure. This could just be something to do with the temperature. It could be. From what I understand, lithium needs a BMS to be able to recharge, right? Yeah. So lithiums, they use a battery management system. And uh, I thought that was housed in the charger. But the charger might just act as a power supply, and this is what controls the charging voltage and current. Okay, let's try and try this. Might be lucky. Look at that. Oh, that came out easy. So, this is going to be a lot easier than planned. <laughs> so, there's a really good example of how these batteries are identical to the ones that are So, in these there. ones are from a laptop. This is an old laptop battery that had six cells in it, and it was likely that one 
or maybe more of all of the cells was failing and for that reason the charging circuit wasn't getting up to the proper charge voltage because that one cell was holding it back so the laptops are smart enough to know that the cells damaged and it won't continue to try and maintain that that's the battery BMS. that's the BMS taking over and saying one cell's dead the total voltage isn't enough I'm not working right I'm not gonna work anymore but if you extract all six batteries out of there and troubleshoot which one was the bad one let's say it was one or more if it's only one great you got five cells so that, that works shape. the same with these one of the two of these could still be good but one's bad exactly so if you have a charger that shows you and can do cycle charges where it shows you the capacity after it's done then each one of these could be tested after to see which one was the problem one and it could possibly be put back in with just one cell and that would fix the pack but hmm. We're not going to go through that today. We're just going to take three cells that we know we've gone through and done that to. And we're going to put them right back in the same way they came out. So we're going to break these tabs. These are called solder tabs. And basically they're spot welded with this. So we use a little tool. We'll pry these off, right? Mm -hmm. Both sides. We'll pull the batteries out. And we'll just one at a time take one out and put a new one back in. Should only take a couple minutes. We have some uh, tabbing wire here that we can use, and that'll uh, fix anything that we damage. So, what are we going to use to break the tabs? Just a screwdriver? No, we're going to use these pliers. 